That was part one. Have a look at part two with me. What are we asked to show and what's going to be the quickest path there? Very good. So I'm looking for this point here, right? You see how important drawing the diagram is? There's the normal going through, and they're calling this M because it's where the normal is going to pass through the axis, right? So therefore, if I've got the equation of this line, that line that N is on, right? What do I need to do with this equation in order to get the coordinates? Yeah, very good. So I'm going to say N is on the x-axis, right? Therefore, Y is equal to zero. I have to say that the first thing because by definition that's what n is. Like it meets the axis, x-axis at n, but that gives me the y coordinate. Remember, I'm asked to show that the coordinate has blah 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 zero. So there's my zero. Now I need to pop that into this equation to get out my my x coordinate there expected. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So y is zero, so I'm going to get zero minus y naught equals, and everything else is the same. Now, uh, one of the things that's nice here is that having just gotten rid of that y term, you can see I can also get rid of the y naught term. Do you notice that? I can just divide through. It's kind of nice. Bam, bam, right? Now, that was just some simplifying that was obvious. What am I trying to do with this thing? Like, what's the, what's the chart I'm try trying to get towards? The path. Yeah, good. I'm trying to make x subject. That's the first thing I noticed. The second thing I notice is, have a look, like this is, they're reading very nice to you. They're giving us a whole bunch of show results, right? So you know where you're going. You don't have to simplify in the dark. Have a look at that x coordinate. Do you notice the x coordinate has no a squared and no b squared in it? Do you notice that, right? All it's got is an e squared. That's the eccentricity, right? So number one, we're obviously gonna have to do a bit of simplifying here, just expand, rearrange, etc. But not only that, we're going to have to take advantage of a relationship that gets rid of a squared and b squared and replaces them with an e squared of some kind. Now, like I'm just trying to get in our heads, this is the direction we're going in. We're on an ellipse. What is that relationship? B squared equals a squared outside of one minus e squared. And we know, why is it one minus e squared? How do we know it's not the other one? Because it's on an ellipse, the eccentricity has to be between not in one, right? So that's why this number is small and we have to keep everything positive. So just keep that in your back pocket, right? This is going to come out, we're gonna need this, and you can know it right away, having written down this line and knowing where you're gonna go, okay? Right, let's carry out some of the algebra now. I guess I'm gonna try and get rid of this fraction. So I will multiply through. And then while I'm at it, I might as well expand that right hand side, yep. How does that look, is that okay? Now remember, um, you guys told me I'm trying to make x the subject, so I guess I will um, I'll kick this guy over here, and while I'm at it, it looks like I can do some simplifying as well. So it looks to me like Okay, how does that look so far? I've just done a little bit of shifting around, okay? And I'm almost there. I've almost got x equals. Now, I know it's a bit unconventional. I've factorized now, but I've put the x naught on the end rather than the beginning. Anyone want to tell me why I bothered doing that? Because the... Because have a look at where I'm going, right? The x naught's on the end, oh, like I'm just fine. Okay? So, so now, I'm going to divide through, right? So I'm getting a squared minus b squared all over a squared. Okay. Now this ought to make me very suspicious. I, I haven't done anything dramatic with the algebra. I have a fraction here, but I am not expecting a fraction. I'm expecting this thing is just going to come out in the wash and be e squared. Any more to suggest what I should do? So, so you look at this guy, right? You look at this guy. Now I, you've got a couple of choices. Um, you can do some manipulation here or here to make the transition a bit easier. But I kind of reckon, you know what? Being that I'm expecting, if I've done all my algebra right, that this thing should come out really nicely in the wash, I'm just going to do a straight substitution, okay? So I'm going to go, that is minus a squared, one minus e squared. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. um, that's your step. Is that okay? Do you see what's happening? Do you see what's happening? This is a squared minus a squared. Bam, there it goes. Right, so that term disappears. 
then what you're left with is a squared e squared, all divided by a squared. And there is the result we're searching for. Are you okay with that? Now, some people, I remember seeing this kind of question the first time, and I was like, man, does this not, this, this step here, does this not come out of the blue? Like, how did someone know to do that? And the thing is, you guys all told me, you, you knew you needed to from immediately from writing this line. How did you know? What was the clue? You look at this, right? And there's no two ways of getting around it. It clearly follows from part one. And then you look at where you've got to go. You're like, I've got to get from here to here. This is the only recourse I have to get rid of a squared and b squared and replace them with an e squared. So therefore, no, don't be surprised that this is coming out of, um, this is not coming out of blue at all, actually. You don't have any other choice. Right? 